one and welcome back to Asia Digital. As always, my name is Manuel Achler, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, render an object into a fairy tale in Blender. Everything is going to be entirely done in Blender. We're not going to be using Photoshop or any um, image editing software or anything. We're just going to be using some compositing elements. And so let's get on right into the video. Okay, for this tutorial, you're going to need um, four main things. Number one is your object of choice. Um, I am going to be using a car. You can use whatever object you like. Um, number two is going to be the image in which you want to render the car or whatever into. Number three is an HDRI that closely matches the lighting of the image in which you're rendering into. And the fourth one is FSPY. Okay, so for those that don't know, FSPY is basically what I mainly use FSPY for matching camera perspectives in images and then importing them into Blender using the blender add-on which you can get in fspy's github repository so i'm just going to like link links down in the description which you can use to like download fspy and also get a blender add-on so i'm just going to open up fspy go into my desktop fspy then once you open up fspy you're going to be created with uh, some a window like this and um it shows load an example project or drop an image of project here we don't need to load an example um, project we're just going to need it to import the image in which we're going to be using so i'm going to be using this image which i have like organized into a folder drop right here and once you um drop it you're going to put it something like this so what these are is like vanishing points these are what i was going to use to of course match our perspective so i'm just going to drag this here right here drag this like this and also drag this because our x-axis is like the horizontal axis that faces this way and as you can see once i have done this like this it shows the x-axis going this way because that's what we want and we're also going to mark this one like this right, so but i'm just going to need this one so i'm going to change um this from y to z and i'm also going to change the number of vanishing points from two to one uh, and just match it again briefly like so and um a quick disclaimer though you don't have to follow me because um your image might be completely different from mine so you have to like watch videos on how to properly match the um, camera perspective because you could be using an image like a road that's like um um vertical or whatever so you're going to have to match it differently from the way i'm matching this and um, matching this so i'm just going to save this save as um let's just name this um pagani and save and we're just going to come to blender and um we're going to have to import the um f um fspy um project file we're going to come into um, import and one once you've installed the fspy add-on you will see this option then click on fspy then um, click on pagani or fs fspy then as you can see it loads up the camera with um the fspy so press zero press zero 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 as can see so what i'm going to do is we're going to have to like try to closely match the um car with the um photo so let me just scale this up a bit like so place this like this and scale it up a bit and now um, if i have to come into rendered you will obviously see this and um it's like the car is not casting any shadow on the ground and if we adjust to render this out like this it will just look um weird and looks like the car was just floating on the ground so what i'm going to do to fix that is um i am going to um, go back to solid and um um course that are selected and i'm also going to place a plane there and i'm going to scale this plane up like so what essentially this plane is going to do is this plane is going to be the one that will help us like receive the shadow of the car so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch from um I just switch from every side please and I'm going to select the plane, make sure I select the plane and come into this and um object settings and you're going to switch from ch check um shadow catcher. So if I also <coughs> press zero and um rendered as you can see the car is already casting shadow down on the ground so I'm just going to check um 
when um, the noise back here check the noise so everything is smoothing itself out and down and as you can see it's already looking better but if we're to render this out right now it's not going to render out to the image it's just going to render it's looking a bit weird so i'm going to reduce our sample rate to something like 400 and i'm just going to give us like a time limit of like let's say like 50 seconds i don't want to the render time to be long let's just give it 10 seconds and um let's come into render and uh, then render image and the uh, quick thing though you're also going to before we render you also have to going to check up uh, transparent because if we don't check this transparent one on the film setting it's going to render out with our hdri which we don't want so we're going to check transparent then render image so just give it some time to render as you can see it's starting to render it's already rendering and see a few seconds it will be done rendering So it's finally done rendering and what we're going to do is we're not going to save this yet we're just going to minimize this and um come into compositing which is where we're going to use to um um put the image into the uh, put the car into the image so come into compositing we're going to deselect backdrop because we don't need that and we're just going to close this the timeline and to close this and um check use notes as you can see these are our render results here and i'm just going to split the view no, I don't want that. Let's join this again. Join areas. I'm just going to speed the view like this. I'm going to select a image editor and I'm going to want to open our render results over here and um, check news notes again. And what we're going to have to do is let's just kill this up. We're going to import the image in which we want this car to be on, which was the cloud that we used. So let's do um, image. Open downloads of Pagani and cloud. PNG. Um, even after putting in audio, you can see it's still not showing yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this one called um, Alpha River, and we're just going to drop this right here. And as you can see, it turns everything to white. But just watch this once I just connect this image to the top part of this again, you can see. The car is basically like projecting on the ground and you can see the shadows here are showing and even though um the background the image looks kind of a bit over saturated and like high contrast levels so what we're going to do is we're just going to um drop in um an rgb chorus rgb chorus so we're just going to drop this right here so we're just going to like make a quick s curve so our um, car kind of matches the contrast level of the car now let's do it again something there about and um, you can just save this that's basically it and you just save the image and you can use it for whatever you want save as then you can save it on pagani.png you can save your plus car png car save as image and there you go that's just it and um you don't have to use photoshop to like make whatever and start um trying to cut the car or something it's just as simple as that in blender just the node editor and uh, you know that's just it and i'll see you in the next tutorial guys